Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a cash stuffing video. If you are new around here, welcome. We have a lot of cash stuffing on this channel. We have budget related content. We also soon will have some moving vlogs because I'm moving to Tennessee. We also do a bit of Etsy and YouTube talk as far as income and how to grow and those kinds of things because right now Etsy and YouTube are my full-time income. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe let's go ahead and count our five hundred and thirty six dollars and make sure we have the cash that we think we have 50 150 200 50 70 90 310 330 350 370 390 410 430 450 470 490 500 did you all see me count that money oh my god 510 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 i don't know what it is about me counting 50s and then counting 20s it's just not a skill that is natural to me that's something you're born with some people can do it some people cannot i'm finally getting it I did it. How are you guys doing this wonderful Monday? It is so sunny and bright, not to brag, but I am. It is such nice weather here in South Mississippi, finally. It has been cold. Now, I know, I know, it is not cold like everywhere else is cold, but there's something special and painful about humid cold, you know? If you don't know, you don't know, but if you know, you know. <laughs> I am so weird, I'm sorry. It is nice today, it feels like spring. I want to go plant a garden, which is not practical because I live in a two bedroom, one bath apartment and I don't own any land. So I don't know how I'm going to plant this garden. Today's cash stuffing really, it should be a pretty quick one because typically on Monday cash stuffings, we cash up our bills and then we cash up our self care and variable expenses and that kind of thing. And then on Friday, we stuff all of our short term and long term goals. So it's like two separate processes, right? Well, we don't have any bills to stuff, well mostly, because today is the 31st and we already stuffed all of our bills. We are stuffing 50 into Mother's Helper because that's kind of like a rolling account that I pay my sister-in-law to help help me with my homeschool kid. 50, 100, 50, 75. So we have 175 in Mother's Helper. And basically because all of these bills, we already saved all of the money for February's bills. So I pulled out that money, brought it to the bank and have already paid all of February's bills, except for mother's helper, which is rolling. And I pay that in cash and allowance. I do pay my sons $1 every single night that they do their chores. They kind of fell off of their chores for a little while. They're getting back at it. So I do want to add $10 in ones. So this has really been working for them. They are five and seven years old. So the system where they get money nightly instead of weekly really works for them. I mean, who doesn't want to be paid daily, right? So they enjoy getting the $1 at the end of the day if they did all of their chores. We have a lot of ones in here. We're not going to count it we are going to count out 10 ones to add to allowance one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that should buy me at least a week of paying my two boys allowance so the exciting news is because we didn't have to put money into all of our bills because everything is already paid. We are going to put $200 into one month ahead. This is helping us get one more month ahead. So I call myself one month ahead because I always have all of my bills ready for the first of the month. So like this February, all of the bills have already been paid at here at the end of January, we paid them. I would like to be even one more month ahead, not saying I will like double pay those bills, just that the money is there when I need it, if I need it, because I am working on YouTube and Etsy full time now. And I just never know if I'm going to have a ridiculously slow month. Like in comparison, January was pretty slow for me compared to October, November and December. I shouldn't say it like that. January was still a great month but it was the start of January. The end of February, things have completely just kind of fallen off. The sales are really low. So I don't know if February is going to be really slow and it would just be nice to have things one month ahead. So we are gonna add 50, 150, 200 to one month ahead and then let's count. First, let's color. We're just gonna color in this 200 over here because how often are we going to have an extra $200, you know? So I might as well take that big amount out of the picture. 
And then let's see what we have. We do have one, two, three hundred dollars in the bank. So that's what these placeholders are for. These are not real money. I just like to have these to keep me accountable for what's in the savings account. We will talk about that a lot more in an upcoming video. But we do have 300 in the bank, 350, 400, 450, 500, 2468. So we have $580 for one month ahead. Of course, everything you see on my YouTube videos, you can find in my Etsy shop, like this tracker is a principle. These labels can be customized how you want it. Or I do have a new listing where you can get 12 of the budget trackers that are inside here and 12 blank labels for $15. So that is a good price. It's a sale that's up right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that listing or what we're doing, but just know that is in my shop. Speaking of, you guys made me cry, like ugly cry last night, and I am not a crier. I'm not somebody who typically cries over many things. It could be something very traumatic, and I'm just like, okay, this is how we're gonna tackle this. Or it could be something really exciting. I don't know, I guess I do cry over exciting, happy things more than I do like sad things. Anyway. You guys made me cry because I have been too busy to read the, what's it called? The reviews, the reviews on Etsy. I have skimmed them in the past and I do every once in a while. Like I said, things have been slow for like the end of January. So I'm having time to work on the website. I'm having time to catch up on things. And I just happened to start looking through the reviews and you guys are so nice to me. Like, why are you so nice? At the time I'm uploading this video, I have 995 reviews on Etsy. Okay, first 99% of my reviews are five star reviews. And then the comments and the reviews that you guys leave, I was bawling my eyes out last night because I just could not believe how sweet you guys are and how amazing this community is. Just the way, like you don't have to go out of your way. First off, you purchase my stuff. So thank you for supporting me on this Etsy and YouTube journey. Second off, you then go out of your way to comment something really nice about my products or me or my YouTube channel. And I'm just like blown away by the kindness that you guys have shown me. So if I have not said it lately, thank you so much. You guys made me ugly cry last night because it was just like the sweetest comments. And I don't know, I'm just not used to this kind of like love and support. Thank you guys. Okay, with that being said, perfect segue into tips. Thank you guys. If you tipped me over on Etsy this week, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Those tips are not required or expected, but I appreciate that you guys go out of your way to give me tips. You guys know when you tip the seller over on Etsy, that goes into my self-care categories, which are here. How am I already on Etsy? Have I been flipping through these while I'm talking? If you tip the seller over there, that goes into my self-care binder here. And self-care is something I have a really hard time stuffing and spending. So I appreciate you guys. I did get $33 in tips this week. We're gonna round it up to $35. Before I tell you guys where we're stuffing this week's self-care money, let me first say thank you to you guys that tipped. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Nicolette. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Jason and Christine. Thank you, Kim and Cheryl and Deborah Lee. And thank you, Carolee. It's either Carolee or Carly. Carly, Carly, tell me how to pronounce your name if you're watching, I'm so sorry. I can be bad at pronouncing names sometimes. The $35 this week are going to go into, we're not gonna stuff movies, that's still fully stuffed. We are going to stuff Dine In because my oldest son, he really wants to go to TGI Fridays on Friday. I don't know, we passed by it the other day and he, he just thinks it will be funny to go to TGI Fridays on Friday. So we are gonna have a mother-son date on Friday night. I'm very excited to take him and he's very excited to go. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff $35 because I don't know how much TGI Friday is. I don't know that I've been in like the last decade. Is it expensive? Somebody tell me. So we had $5 left over. Oh, I don't think I said. we did spend dine-in money this week. We went on a mother son date, just me and him. Uh, where'd we go? Chili's. We went to Chili's. And if anybody's worried about my youngest son, he doesn't really care about eating out. And my oldest son has just needed some extra attention. You know, kids will kind of go through phases where they feel a little left out or they feel a certain way about the other one. My oldest son is going through that right now. So I'm trying to just give him some extra love and attention and he's been enjoying our mother son dates so we added 35 we now have 40 dollars to dine in here i told myself this was going to be a very short not chatty video and i was wrong 
Okay, just a couple categories left, but I just want to explain thrifting. I did pull $80 out of thrifting and I pulled $40, had to think about that one, $40 out of purchases. I did not go thrifting, but I did splurge on some car items. I will be sharing a like how to organize your car style video very soon because I'm going out of town. I'm traveling to Tennessee again very soon and I wanted to really organize and prep the car because I will be bringing the boys with me. So thank you for those of you that did tip that money that was previously stuffed from you guys tips in purchases and thrifting. It did get pulled for a big like car organization haul. I am putting $21 into this 100 envelope challenge. This money is helping me save for a new to me car or potentially a down payment for a house sometime in the next couple years. We will just see. 100 envelope savings challenge now has 100, 200, those that's in the bank. 220 40 60 61 dollars so two 261 for 100 envelope savings challenge two more categories we are almost done curriculum is going to get 20 dollars this is for my sons both of my boys homeschool curriculums this coming year i will be sharing a whole curriculum and homeschool haul soon too we now have 70 dollars for curriculum very last category oh i was like why do i have all this money left over and i just realized i did not stuff my variable expenses last thing we are stuffing is co-ops we are going to put 40 dollars into co-ops this is by far the most expensive category for me for homeschooling it's basically social outlets and things that i put my kids in like maybe summer camps and weekly camps and things that happen to get my kids socialized while they're homeschooling. We added 40, we have 100 in the bank, 150, 170, $190 towards co-ops. The reason there's money left over is because I did forget to stuff my variable expenses. All of this money will go into the envelopes that are in my purse. So 100 is going to groceries this week. I typically do 140, but we're a little strapped this week. So we're going to do 100 for groceries, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Then we have another 30 set aside for gas and then another 30 set aside for fast food. So all of this will be categorized in the envelopes that are in my purse. So let's set that to the side. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.